And then we see the last line, Sandy. It said, nudity allowed at this beach <laughs> oh, all the, times. The dreaded words. Just <laughs> wangs everywhere. It's like, you look to your left, wang. To your right, wang. In front of you, wang. <laughs> all right. Next question. Cardi B released a song this year titled WAP. What does WAP mean? All okay. right. Next one. Border closures. Are we buying or selling? Why? Sandy, this- what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Keep them out, I say. No. Um- <laughs> Welcome back to Critical Banter, where we take the best bits from your favorite late night shows and package them into a podcast. So for today's episode, we'll be going through the year on 202020 and introducing a new segment, Buy or Sell. But before that, to wrap up the week is we've got me, Miguel, we've got Senny. Hello. And Rohit. G'day, g'day. Um, boys, you guys went out to a beach yesterday, had a good day out without me. Um, <laughs> any danger? The, the, the invite was extended. Let's not, <laughs> let's not tell porkies. Yeah, yeah, I was busy, but uh, how was it? Looks fun. <laughs> Looks fun. <laughs> um... The beach itself was packed. Like, first off, when we got there. So, okay, so in Sydney, half the beaches have been locked down because of coronavirus. So, there's only about, like, three, four beaches you can go to. Mm. And so, literally every single one of them was packed. Public holiday as well, so. It was a public holiday and it was the first hot day we've had in, like, two weeks. So Mm. Yeah, like, the week before was all rain. The the week after, forecasted to be rain. Yeah, so it's the one day in, like, 15 days where it's actually going to be good weather for the beach. Um, So, we got there and it took us how long, Manny, to find parking? So, so we were with another group, yeah. a different car. So, we got there 20 minutes before them, yeah. looking for parking. 30 minutes later, we get a call from them. We found parking. Mm. Oh, no. Go fuck yourself, first of all. <laughs> and then second of all, it took us another 30 minutes on top of that. So, probably like an hour. I think it was a bit parking. longer to find parking. All right. We circled. We did at least seven laps of like that suburb looking for parking. Oh, so I was, I was, I was going to ask, like, when you're in a shopping center looking for parking, how many laps are you doing before you head to a different parking spot? I'm doing max two. And then I'm leaving. Yeah, there are thereabouts. Do you, if you see someone walking towards their car, you stalk them. Do you stalk them? Yeah, yeah I'm not a stalk sort of guy. Mm. No, nah, I'm a stalk for sure. Because someone else is going to do it if you don't do it. But the thing is, though, like they could just be weaving in and out. Do you know what I mean? Like you're yeah, stalking. I them. mean, yeah, you're tired. You're playing the board. risk. Yeah. yeah. Mm, all right, play on. But uh, yeah, so we circled parking for about like maybe yeah. like half that time, yeah. seven, eight times. And nope. then yeah, on. we we got to a car park, bro. Right? Um, and then it was a very narrow car park. There was only one way in, one way out. And it was like packed, fully packed. And there was only one way you could go around. Mm. So we went in, we saw there was no parking. And then we were trying to get back around to get out. And then one guy on the other side was trying to reverse out. But then someone else was already waiting for parking. So we couldn't take that anyway. Sure. But this guy was in a Big Daddy Kluger, Toyota Kluger, Big Daddy car. And either side of him were also massive cars. And the space, like there was parks, cars parked behind as well. So this was a really narrow space. Mm. So, for the first 10 minutes, we sat there waiting for this guy to get out. Is he blocking your exit? He's blocking the exit. We oh. can't get out. We have to wait for this guy to get out. He's blocking all traffic. He's blocking all traffic in this car park. Yeah. Tiny ass car park. Literally dead set, maybe three or four times the size of this room. Not much bigger than Which this. Which the listeners know how big is. It's more for Rose's <laughs> perspective more than anything else. Um, anyway, so we watched Big this studio guy. we've got. Mm, we watched this guy. He, he reverses out of the park, uh, of the spot. He gets halfway out and he drives back in. Mm. He does that eight more times after that. He's not turning what? or anything. He's just going back and No, forth. no. Sometimes he's turning, but the wrong way. Yeah, he's turning the wrong <laughs> way. So, the man was meant to turn left because there was a lot of space on the left where yeah. we were. But he kept going right. Yeah. And, and right didn't make sense either because the exit was to the right. So, if he was turning right, he was facing the wrong way to the exit. Yeah. So, this man was clearly lost. Um, so, then there was, like I said, there was another car waiting to park there. And then the girl got out and she tried to help. From about five meters away. She was... Literally 20 meters away from the car. Oh she was doing one of these ones, just gracious. waving him through. No no verbal uh, instructions. The waves were very half-assed as well. It was half-assed wave. She was basically in another suburb trying to help him, in mm. another postcode. Yeah. So, she gave up promptly. And then we were getting... Well, our driver was getting really annoyed. And so, I stu- stood up, got out of the car. What a hero. And what I went up to the car... And then she, they rolled their windows down and I started to verbally help. Abuse what, Well, not abuse. <laughs> Sorry, help I, them, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I was just basically, I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, you got to reverse and reverse left. Mm. Man starts reversing right. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't abuse a person I don't know. Luckily, her, what, his wife was in the front seat next to yeah. me. I was just having a go. He's like, she's like, he said right. It's like, and the guy's like, I am going right. It's like, no, that's left. Oh, dearie me. Um, so anyway. You, so you've learned though. Because I remember like, Last week, said me and you were involved in a similar sort of incident, parking-wise. We were just in the car park. Mm. 
And we saw a crash happen in, in slow motion. Literally. Slow real motion. time. Yeah. Like this chick was turning into a car park and then obviously didn't have the, the ability to, her turning circle wasn't, you know, good enough. Again, it was a big car. Yeah, big and car. And it was a narrow spot. We'll give her that. And so, there was a pole there. And she smashed into the pole. She <laughs> awful. And me and Sen were watching. We knew what was going to happen. We said nothing. Let it happen. Let Are it we crash. For that? We saw, we both predicted it would happen at least a good 30 seconds before it happened. So I was going to, we I was going to walk. We were waiting for our friends and we're like, oh, we'll go. And so I was like, no, no, let's just see what happens here. We just in slow motion. The car comes, hits, the, hits the curb. It reminds me like when that happened, right? I realized actually I'm a bad person because this is twice now in two days, which I've seen something happen. I've not taken advantage of. The first one was this girl was on our treadmill at home and she was slowly increasing the pace. And she was like, maybe like six years old. And I could see the treadmill was getting too fast for her legs. <laughs> and I just thought, let's just see what happens. And uh, did she go flying? She went flying. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dearie um, me. But anyway, I'm- so he, the, that guy eventually got out and we, anyway, half an hour later, we found parking. And then we went to the, so we went to the beach, which we thought we were originally planning to go to. Mm. Packed. Literally, like the, the beach was only about 40 odd meters, 50 meters, I reckon packed about 100 200 people on that beach to be fair we were warned small beach given the circumstances yeah, we knew it was a small beach but i just didn't think there'd be that many but then we did know that we found out there was another beach around the corner mm. so we went there <laughs> we, got, we got we got up to the top of the stairs there was a sign the first sign said group activities must be what was it approved so like what i've never seen a beach that says group activities yeah. must be approved bit of volleyball well, yeah maybe a bit of sport we look down opening times closing times mm. and then we see the last line sandy it said nudity allowed at this beach <laughs> oh, all the, times the dreaded words so we walk down the stairs sandy <laughs> it just hit me the sausage hut just, <laughs> it just wangs everywhere it's like you look to your left wang to your right wang in front of you wang <laughs> It was just so all-encompassing. I had to sit down. Like, I, I genuinely was so overwhelmed. I had to sit down and just, you know, compose myself for a second. I sure. just, Let's I didn't wake up that morning thinking I'd be seeing a multitude of old, old wangs, new wangs, wow. crusty wangs. <laughs> there's nothing, okay, there's nothing wrong with it, but. No, no, absolutely not. But it was I, just the sheer f- shock that we ended up at a so new jarring. beach. And, um, so, I've got to ask, did you guys, were your, were your wangs out? Were wangs in or wangs out? Um. Uh, it was discussed. It was definitely discussed. I'm like, this is the one place where it wouldn't be frowned upon to get your wang out. It was the one place where we were in clothes and the weirdos. Yeah, we were the weirdos for having our clothes <laughs> on. We were like full covering ourselves as we changed and people were just looking at us. Oh, no. And so we discussed for a bit and we, we thought about getting the wangs out, but we decided we're, we're not at that level with our friendship yet. But um, it's maybe that's our goal for 2021. We can be more comfortable. By end of the year, we have wangs wanna, out. Yeah, I want to be able to recognize your wangs, mm. like just by the wang. Like, oh, that's Rose <laughs> in, wang. In a lineup, you want yeah, to be exactly, able to, to exactly. recognize the wang. But, um, yeah. were you, is that rude? What do you mean? To, you know, on a nudist beach to have your clothes on? It, it, it wasn't rude because there was a lot of other people as well doing it, not having their wangs out. Yeah, the, but, the majority had like boardies on. But there was definitely off. silent judgment mm. for sure. I mean, the weirdest Donny we saw was the guy with the shirt on. <laughs> And no pants. <laughs> like the, the bottom of his shirt sat right at the right at the wang. Like, why do you have a shirt on, buddy? Like, uh, why is it the first piece of clothing you're putting and then on? Hilt, and he, then you just saw his wang. He's obviously insecure about his maybe pot belly, but <laughs> his wang will be. And then apparently there was apparently there was proclaimed. some guy. Um, he got his wang out, and apparently you know shrinkage and all that. And yeah. It was a bit small, so he gave it a few Flicks. hearty tugs. What? No, he gave it a few. You know. It was like starting a lawnmower, basically, <laughs> to get a few extra meters. Oh, sorry, centimeters. Um, just wanted a half chub. Yeah, and then, but yeah, but he was just doing that in broad daylight, and apparently that's you know completely fine. Wasn't he like under the stairs, but a little. Yeah, he's hidden. This is the same somewhere. guy. So this guy was a troll, yeah. like a literal troll. He lived <laughs> under the stairs, so there were stairs to get down to the beach, and this guy just marauded those stairs. Yeah, he was like a ranger just patrolling those <laughs> stairs, and anytime you went up or down, you had to you got a face full of wang. <laughs> <laughs> it was um. Yeah. How did it feel sharing the same body of water with these people, Sani? Weirdly cathartic, you know? Hmm. I feel like there were some weird warm areas of water and you're like, someone's wang was here before. <laughs> and I don't know, Hot you spot. just kind of become bliss with it, you know? I don't know. It was, I don't think I'd do it again. I don't think I'd do it again. It was weird. Yeah, so it was Sen- weird. Yeah, Sani and the other group, so I wasn't in the water, Sani and the other group were in the water and they were asking for a photo. <laughs> I'm like, can I, can I be taking photos here with wangs out left, right and center? So, I had, to get, I, had to, I had to tell them move so there's no wangs in the photo. You have to blur the wangs for sure. So, then I took the photos. I looked a day after. There, there, there are some wangs in the background. Oh, so there really? actually. So, so, you can enjoy oh. those photos. Wow, nice little group pic. 
I'll put it out there. I was uncomfortable the entire time I was there. <laughs> I would not do that again, bro. To not recommend. So I was just, I was just, uh, I guess, as I normally do every week, just looking through the newspapers to try and find any interesting article. Mm. Um, so I found something from September because there was absolutely nothing that happened this week. Fair enough. Um, Is this saw- local news as well or are you going to Manila again? No, we're going to Hawaii <laughs> this week. So I saw a headline that says, a cult honoring a white woman as the Hawaiian sun god was kicked out of Hawaii. Oh, that, wow. And that, that, that piqued my interest. Lots so- to unpack there. <laughs> <laughs> so locals in... Kauai, I don't know how to say that word. Leonard. Leonard, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's not that funny. So they protested the arrival of a religious cult called Love Has Won. Mm. I don't know. If I was coming up with a religious cult, I'm not calling it Love Has Won. I'm calling it like Sends Doomsday, Mm. Apocalypse, you know, 69ers or some shit. I don't know. So their self-proclaimed Lena claims to be the reincarnation of a Hawaiian goddess of fire, Pele. What? Is this like genuine? This like, is genuine. No, isn't but is it? There's an actual goddess okay, of fire. Right. Yeah, the goddess of water is called Messi. <laughs> <laughs> How did you um, not see that coming? I didn't. I didn't. I'm not a. In the back player. of my mind, when he said power, I'm thinking, what soccer player is he going? What soccer <laughs> player is he going to reference now? Um, so the locals reported that the group were selling vitamin supplements, mm. silver and gold therapeutics, posting profanity laden tirades. It's always good fun. Wowie, You've yeah. got a few lined up, haven't you? <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> they they were p- uploading videos mocking COVID nineteen quarantine restrictions and were running an illegal cockfighting ring. <laughs> oh, goodness, let it gracious. go, Sam. <laughs> the, the cult's leader, Amy, mother of God, Carlson, argued that her group was not a cult but a religion. Mm. I'd argue, what's the difference? Mm. But the US internal <laughs> IRS. <laughs> See how matter of factly you said that? <laughs> so proudly. <laughs> but the US IRS actually came up, so the Internal Revenue Service confirmed that they are actually a certified religion, like a registered oh. religion and not a cult. What's the difference? So my take. <laughs> that's what I'm asking. But no, my but- takeaway is can anyone just register to be a religion? Yeah, there's that like Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. So, what's classic? stopping TCB from becoming a religion? We've got an appreciation we society. Have an appreciation. We, we have, have a following. followers, acolytes, extremists, if you will. Oh, Why no. can't we become a religion? It's true. What's stopping us? Let's look it up. Let's find the doc, Sen. Mm. I, I reckon there's something on here. I don't know. Like, Do bro, ne- I can see Roe as a religious leader. Next next census, are we typing with TCB unites or something like that? Yeah, why not? Yeah. We're okay. going to at least get 10 people in Australia to write that. <laughs> That'd be all right. Um, and in the end, however, the protests were so big that they had to get police presence outside of, like, the cult's, like, for, like house. Okay. Um, and in the end, love is one lost. <laughs> and they got shame. moved to Colorado. So, But they, re- they reset up in Colorado, so maybe we might be hearing more about them next mm. year. I look forward to it. All right, guys. It's time for a new segment. As we are, this is the last episode for the year, so... It's time for 202020, which, as the name suggests, really simple. It's 22 questions about 2020. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, what I'll do is no I'll ask. No context to that joke as well. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll ask a question and then you guys buzz in to answer. Um, do you guys want to come up with the buzzer? Yes, sir. What's your buzzer going to be, Ro? Yeehaw. <sighs> okay, Manny, what's your buzzer going to be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buzz is okay, ready. Yay, buzz is ready. Let's go. First question. How many days in 2020? Yeah. yeah. Rohit, that will see you first. 366. Good. Oh, Very good from you, Rohit. So, Rohit gets the first one. I was hoping you would say 365. I thought you yeah, I was hoping say. with the Olympics cancel, he wouldn't have factored mm. that in. Mm, not bad. All right. Second question. Which of these is not a symptom of coronavirus? Fever, coughing, hallucinating, yeah. loss of taste. Rohit. Hallucinating. Row two, two from two from row. Great start here. We're gonna go twenty-two out of twenty-two. <laughs> oh, here we go, <laughs> Manny. Ah, oh, come on. Funny. No, no, there's some questions here for you, Dory. There's one I know that he <laughs> won't get. Um, third question: When and where was the first reported case of coronavirus? Yeehaw. Ro. We have to be Wuhan, China. When? When? It would be November 2019. Unfortunately, that is not correct, Manny. You can take for the steal here. Oh, no, no, So, Wuhan no. was correct. The when was not correct. Was it earlier? I cannot I remember say. being overseas and... I'll say December. December 2019 oh, is correct. Let's Manny go. Gets the point. All right. I, I thought it was going to be a musty start in the US. <laughs> 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 Manufactured in the labs in US. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out one day. Um, next question. What was the name of the cruise ship which docked in Sydney? Yeah. And, uh, ooh. Bro, very quick here. Uh, it's the some like emerald something like that. Can we, I think can it's we speed the, it up? Can we speed it up? All right, it's it's the diamond. 
Princess. Incorrect. No. Manny, I was going to go for that. Would you like the full question? I would, I, I so what was the name it. of the cruise ship which docked in Sydney and was responsible for 10% of Australia's COVID cases? At <laughs> That's not Diamond Princess, princess no. <laughs> I'll John Cadman the third, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Musty joke. The Mr. Beaumont. It is the Ruby Princess. Oh, I knew it was some... You bastard. So, Manny, you said before, the Olympics were meant to be held in Tokyo this year. Where will the next Olympics be held after the Tokyo ones? It's a toughie. Yeehaw. Right, Rowie? Uh, we talked is, about this a few weeks ago. Did we? Yes, we did. Is it Qatar? It's <laughs> a fucking World Cup. It's a World Cup fam. Oh, no. All right, Manny, for I'm the steal here. exposed. Um, let's go with the safe United States of America. That is the one after that. It's Paris next, where they bring the break dancing. Oh. Ah. Good to know you boys are still listening. <laughs> All right, next question. What song did Gal Gadot and other celebrities sing earlier? Yeah. Oh, here we go, Manny. What is it? Imagine. The- yes, that is correct. It's your favorite, John Lennon? John- <laughs> Um, next question. Who has the most followers on TikTok? Yeah. Manny? Charlie D'Amelio. D- yeah, I'll accept that. That is correct. Play on. All right. Next question. Cardi B released a song this year titled WAP. What does WAP mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roy just froze there for a second. Manny? I, b- I believe it stands for wet ass pussy. Correct. Well done. All right. Sick that I know that. So, earlier this year, Kobe Bryant passed away. What year did Kobe Bryant get drafted to the NBA? Yeah. Oh, here we go, Rowe. That's the one I thought he would get, right? I have no idea. I'm just going to guess. How old is he? 2003. Incorrect. He won a championship. <laughs> <that year. laughs> With LeBron James, he reckons. Um, dude, I'm stumped. It was a good draft year as well. Allen Iverson. I'm going to go 98. 1996. Ooh. <sighs> All right. Next question. Which American doctor became the public health spokesperson during the pandemic? Yeah. In the US? Yes, Wait, that's we. not... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shoot, that's he what... said yeah, so technically I've got to give that to Manny. Oh, shit. I don't know this. The Fauci bloke, no? Fauci is correct. <laughs> 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 I was going to suggest at the start, I was just going to say your buzzer should just be your name. Mm. But I decided to give you an option just to see what <laughs> idiotic thing you guys would come up with. Because yeah. <laughs> My catchphrase. It's your catchphrase. <laughs> it's his high school catchphrase. I'm stolen it. <laughs> um, quick score check. Manny has five. Ro has two. And there's been three questions you guys have missed. All right. What number president is Joe Biden? <sighs> Yeehaw. Ro? It's 45th. Oh, Manny? 46th. 46. 46 That's is so right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Which one of these is not a coronavirus vaccine? Is it A... Tosinamaran. Apologies for the pronunciation. B. Sildenafilin. C. BBIBP. Or D. MRNA hyphen 1273. Yeah. All right, Manny. The last one's a plane, no? <laughs> <laughs> that is not. That is not I'm going to the third one, bro. That was just a question. Okay, third, third one, one is also not correct. Shit, Manny. I shouldn't have gone. 50 50. 50. It's got to be the first one, no? That is also not no! correct. <laughs> Sildenafil is the medical term for Viagra. Um, num- the next question. What was the most streamed documentary on Netflix this year? Yeah. Last Dance. Correct. correct. Very good. Wow. I would have gone for Tiger King, but it was actually last That time. was this year. That was, Jeez, that that was a long year. time ago. All right. So this is, again, another multiple choice. And this one has multiple answers. So which of these are not names Donald Trump used to refer to coronavirus? Kung Flu. Yellow fever, China virus, crouching tiger, hidden symptoms, or Wuhan virus. <laughs> yeah. Right? The crouching tiger. Yep. And he, didn't also, he also didn't refer to it as yellow fever. No, that's what you have. So that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Which of these people didn't get coronavirus this year? Tom Hanks, Boris Johnson, Vladimir Putin, or Emmanuel Macron? Yeah. Right? Who the hell is Macron? <laughs> Is that your answer? Right? Nah, it must be Putin. <laughs> Putin is somehow correct. Yeah. Who the hell is Macron? <laughs> Who is this? Who's Vladimir Macron? <laughs> Emmanuel Macron, the French <laughs> president, bro. All right, next question. Named after the food. <laughs> move on, move on, move on, move on. <laughs> oh, wow. Move on, move on, move on. Who performed at the Super Bowl halftime show this year? Yeehaw. Bro? That would be... Uh, Katy Perry? Incorrect. Manny? 
I don't know, bro. Some old geezers. It was Shakira and J Lo. Oh, it was Shakira. I remember that photo. All right, next question. How many Oscars? So, Parasite won the Oscar for Best Picture. How many Oscars did it win in total? Ah, four. Beautiful. Bonus point. What is the director's name? Yeehaw. Bro. Emmanuel Macaron. <laughs> <laughs> bro, a mix, sorry? Vladdy Daddy. I don't know. <laughs> Bong Joon Hu. No, never no. getting it. Ray didn't even want to attempt. <laughs> he, he knew it was a Korean uh, movie. It was a it was a, a bait question. I'll be honest. Um, why did Novak Djokovic get disqualified from the U.S. Open this year? Nah, yeah. I think Manny got it. Was it. Manny? Oh shit! What was the actual reason? He had a party and got coronavirus. No, incorrect. <laughs> Manny Rowe for the steal. He uh, hit a like a ball. Oh no! Wrong. Yeah, with, the, the, with the ball. Oh, oh my god! It was a different fucking Grand Slam. All right, it? couple more question, guys. Who was voted the sexiest man alive for 2020? Yeehaw. Yeah, right. Bro. Rohit Nainan. Beautiful. I knew that was fake, <laughs> <that's laughs> bro. Manny? Centurin. Oh, hey. <laughs> you know what? Manny gets the point. <laughs> no, he definitely does not. <laughs> it was Michael B. Jordan. Fair um, enough. What is the name of Barack Obama's autobiography? Yeehaw. Oh, you bought this. Yes, oh. Rohit. Obama Lama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to take a point off of that. It's, right? It's, Matt Manny? The Promised Land? Oh, a Promised Land? A Promised Land. Oh, no. come on. <laughs> no, I to come on. To answer for that, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. This one again. So, why were the following things cancelled in 2020? Ellen. Yeehaw. Ro? Bullying. Workplace. Correct. JK Rowling. Yeehaw. Trans comments. He's on a roll here. Coon. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Racism. <laughs> Racist name, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> but I didn't right. get the promised land. All right, and that's fine. Don't one final question. <laughs> and this one, if you get this, I'll give you the whole win. All right, this is a take it or leave it if you get this. It's the last goal wins kind of. It is. Vibe. Last goal wins. Elon Musk had a kid this year. <laughs> Here we go. Spell the kid's name. I'll give you both a chance to spell it. All right. Yeah. X. Yep. That fucking A-E ting. Yeah. Oh, hyphen. Crap. Yeah. I missed something, did I? No, 12. Oh, that would have been so close. Incorrect, unfortunately, Manuel. All right. Ro. X. Yep. A. Yep. <laughs> hyphen. Okay. V I I. That's unfortunately incorrect as well. It's X A E A hyphen 12. An, there's oh! an A. You were so close. Oh! How did you know that? I know the AE thing. <laughs> oh, wow. We. Well, that's okay. It turns out that it was a tie. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, there's going to be a tiebreaker question now. Um, this one, the answer is whoever gets the closest answer wins for this okay. one. So how many electoral college votes did Joe Biden get? <sighs> closest answer wins, lads. Yeehaw. Roy? He got 302. Manny? Closest answer. <laughs> this, is a st- <laughs> this is a stitcher. <laughs> <laughs> 301. He's gone the wrong way. No! Let's go! I mean, 303. What a stupid game. He got 306. Ro gets the win. Oh, and that is the 2020 quiz. Happy New Year's from our sponsors, Manscaped. So Manscaped is the best in men's below the waist grooming and they offer precision engineered tools for family jewels and they are here to help you have clean balls in the new year. So you can ring in the new year with the right tools for the job. Boys, Manscaped is here to give you a New Year's resolution that you'll actually keep. The Perfect Package 3.0, the below the waist grooming package you'll need to start strong the new year. So you can come off quarantine uh, with clean balls thanks to the Lawnmower 3.0 this waterproof and skinscape trimmer will reduce nicks to your two best friends. The third generation trimmer even has a light to shine to the promised land that 2021 looks to be. Sen, what are we going to offer the listeners today? That's right, Ro. Listeners and viewers can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with the code TCB at checkout. That's right, 20% off and free shipping with the code TCB. All right, guys, final segment for 2020, and it's called Buy or Sell. Um, and this is where we're just going to discuss some things that have popped up in 2020, and I want to ask you guys if we should keep it in 2021 or just leave it and let it die in 2020. So the first one, working from home. Boys, are we buying or selling it? Buying is keeping it, <laughs> I was going to ask which one's which. <laughs> Definitely buying. Stonks. <laughs> Seriously. Life savings, invest. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a game changer. So my company has decided to work from home 
Yeah. Permanently. Wow. Forever. Forever. No need for an office. Remote, 24-7. I think we go, we, maybe we go in the office like once a week, max, mm. or once a month, max. Yeah. I don't know if I'm buying that. <laughs> but Not even once a month. Uh, you I, couldn't drag your fat ass out of bed <laughs> into the city for once a month. No, no, as in like, I think I would rather go to the office. I'm young, you know, I don't have a family. If I had a family, it'd be different. I'd be, I'd be buying remote work nonstop. Yeah. I like remote work. Once or twice a week in the office, I think is prime. Yeah. Okay. But, I like the choice. Mm, you know, mm. go into the office if you want, stay at home if you wake up late. Vibes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, true. Actually, that is a big time play. You'll never be late again. You'll <laughs> never be late it's again. It's not by choice that I'm working from home. <laughs> <laughs> Alarm didn't go off. All right. Next one is social distancing. Are we buying or selling that? Sell. Sell. Hard sell. Really? I like it. I like not having people near it's me. Because you time. hate humans, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, trains are nice now. I like catching trains. I like getting on public transport. No one comes to sit next to you anymore. You make a good point about public transport. That is the biggest buy from me out of all of this. You're standing in line. There's no one like grinding on your ass. <laughs> what public transport are you taking? <laughs> no, I feel like when you're lining up for stuff as well. I think, I don't know, it's a big buy for me, social distancing. No, nah, but I don't revi- Like, for example, at the RSL yesterday, you can't- <laughs> When you're walking around, there's always people like, fellas, you got to stay apart. You can't watch your mate lose his money in the pokies. You got to be two exactly. meters away. Yeah. Mm. And place, public place, you're being told distance, fellas. So yeah, Move along. Job not run. a big fan. Does that change your mind at all? I'm selling, 100%. No. Nah. Get rid of it. No, I'm selling. I don't know. I, I like social distancing in some aspects then, fine. But the thing is, like, oh, even on the bus, right? Unless you're the first person on the bus or the first group on the bus, yeah. then you're standing up. You I know? don't think they allow people to stand anymore on buses. Really? I haven't seen a single bus where they've allowed people to stand up. <laughs> I definitely have. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, then maybe Unbelievably so. <laughs> really? I've never seen people. Because if you're not in the first like two or three stops, yeah. all the seats are full yeah, and now you you're forced to stand. To stand. Yeah. I'd rather sit next to a sweaty man no, than stand up. No. Every day of the not. week. No chance. No. All okay. right. Next one. Border closures. Are we buying or selling? Why? Sandy, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Keep them out, I say. No. Um, <laughs> um, Sell. My Tasmanian trip. Canned. Would like to go to the Australian Open. Canned. No, I'm sure you can still go to Melbourne. We can't go now. Can't we? No. Is the Open even going? The Open's be- still going ahead. The Open's still going ahead. Oof. Well, can't Roger Federer is out. Huh? Can't go for F1 in March. Surely by then it's fine. Three months. Who knows? There'll be so some people breakouts. were saying about Christmas time, you know, by Christmas. It's and we were. At some point we were open. And then we were closed. <laughs> we were looking Fuck good. Fuck you, Northern Beaches. Yeah, That's but still. No, I'm going to sell Nor- probably the highest sell of all, really. Really? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you on that one. How can you buy yeah, this? How, you, can't, you can't buy it. Um, next one, uh, masks. Wearing masks in public. Did I ever buy that at any point? <laughs> Yeah, sure. I did, I did, I did, I did, did. I did. I wore masks. <laughs> there will be comments. There's fashion statements these days. Like our friend had a, what, what do you have? A Ralph, Ralph Lauren, Lauren mask. mask. And he had a little Just Ralph Lauren pouch. That was the most out of touch thing I've seen in a long time. <laughs> he was getting his mask out of the pouch. The it Ralph a- Lauren cloth pouch. Wow. We- I don't even think that shit was medical. <laughs> it definitely yeah. is not. Um, but I- I'm selling face masks. In certain places, actually. I don't mind it. In- There's some places in Sydney where I'll definitely keep the face mask on. Where's that? very much. I'll tell you off air. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole list. I'll probably sell. Like, uh, but I did enjoy the the mask when people were sick. Could be could be good for that. Mm, when okay. you're unwell, maybe put the mask on. Have you heard of mask fishing row? Sorry, sorry, derail this. Have you heard of mask fishing row? No, sir. So it's like cat fishing, but when you have a mask on, half your face is hidden. That's true, actually. So like, you think people are attractive yeah, from yeah, the yeah, eyes yeah. and the nose, but then they take off the mask and wow, we just like a burka. <laughs> we can only see the eyes. Yeah, it's true. It's it. it Look deep into the eyes. They do say the eyes are the window to the soul. So maybe masking should be. Who says that, right? Everyone. No, it's the saying. <laughs> have you not said? Have you not heard that saying? I've watched the same movie you watched. <laughs> Wait, what movie was that? It's from Blade Runner. Anyway, moving on. We're getting too ah, niche. This is way man. too niche right now. Next mask one: mask fishing, Zoom, um, or virtual meetings by or sell. I am buying. I'm selling so hard. I'm stonks. S- so <laughs> over it. I'm so over virtual meetings. Rohit is buying so much <laughs> virtual meetings. <laughs> Enough. But no, I'm. S- <laughs> <laughs> no one gets it. No, that's fine. fine. Let no one get it. But I'm saying I'm, I'm so over it. I'm so, I won't bring me back to face to face meetings. I would prefer face to face meetings. Yeah, the fact you've got to get your so camera on, on. you got to like you gotta look, look focused. Yeah. Whereas. V- Face to face, as long as you're in the room, yeah, that's, that's enough. enough. Exactly, it's good enough. <laughs> My mind could be God knows where. Exactly. Uh, uh, well, we know Rose answer to this. Okay. Dude, the virtual meetings have paid my bills for the last 12 months <laughs> so nicely. Say less, fam. Um, signing into places. Mm. 
That's a sell for me. I've given my information to so many places this year. It's disgusting. <laughs> sell. Absolute sell. It's Big inconvenient. Sell. But I guess in terms of, I mean, the whole COVID thing, I guess I have to no, keep if it. We ne- if we need it, we'll need it. But mm. but I'm glad General Sal's Chinese place down the road from mine has my email, my phone number, mm. and my name. I don't know what they're doing with that. Sport without fans or crowds in generals. Sell. Sell. Big time. No Big atmosphere. Sell. I don't no, mind nothing. it. Um, really? I, I think limited fans is good. Because right now with the cricket at the MCG, they were doing, what, 30,000 mm-hmm. and 100,000? It's still fine. I don't like the fact that they put artificial fan noises in. That I agree like, with. That, that mm, pisses me soccer off. Soccer mainly. I want to hear them yell at each other. I want to hear, I want to hear <laughs> yeah. God want to knows hear what. coaches on the side just yelling expletives at their players. <laughs> oh, that's what I was keen for when I heard no fans. They're still going to show games. But yeah. all of a sudden, there's bloody fake fan noises. Yeah, the raw, like the audio from the game. Like, Cross yeah. it. So, leave that in 2020, you reckon? Mm. Okay. Next one is TikTok. Let's leave this in 2020, lads. We don't need I'm it. I'm buying. You're buying. You're still I'm on buying. the TikTok. How many hours of TikTok do you do a day? I haven't now? been on TikTok in a long time. I was going to say, because it used would, to be, what, I would three, love- four hours a day in the peak, mm. you're doing- you're doing full-time hours on the TikTok. It would have cost you zero dollars not to <laughs> tell everyone Exposed. about this. No, no. I want to say how much of a journey you've gone on. A change, Matt. How many hours do you do a day now? Zero, mate. See? The only yeah. time I'm on is to upload so I'm on- it's dying. To upload in the Critical Banter TikTok. At Critical Banter. Nice. Great videos Get there. Get that in. But I feel like- I don't know. I haven't heard much about TikTok recently. It's been on the downward, hasn't it? Mm, I think Has so. it? Or just us as boomers. Are we out of the culture? Like, it's still big, but just not in our circles, our- I think that's what it probably is, to be fair. Boomers, boys. Although I do, I do enjoy when people send me a TikTok every now and then. Every now and then, I do enjoy it. It's good. It. It's good fun. Is it TikTok fatigue? Did we consume too much TikTok quickly mm. and now we're just burnt out from it? Definitely happened. <laughs> For me. <laughs> Four hours a day, I could only see so much of the same shite. Yeah, that's true. Same dance, fucking by like 10 different people. Next one is Among Us. Will that survive 2020? Bro, buying Are 100%. You serious? I'm sell. buying. Bro, bro played once and he was happy to sell. I was out of it. I'm buying stuff. I did not survive. This is like, um, what was the other game? No, the playing? other one was shit Fall, Fall Guys. guys. Fall guys. <laughs> well, shit. If anyone plays Fall Guys, let me know. It's a shit game. <laughs> that, that survived two weeks, I reckon. Said no. I played it twice. <laughs> yeah. Um, Among Us, again, I don't see it survive. It's the, have, it's the same thing over and over again. It's a good little party game. It is the worst game of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst game. And Roe has paid $80 for Cold War, which he's played twice. Yeah, that's true. And it's worse than that. That's um, how much. That's how bad it is. And last one. Think, thank God you brought up Cold War. Warzone. Is that a survive 2020? Or? Buy, bro. I'm buying that as well. <laughs> Get rid of it. Again, I'm off Warzone. <laughs> I'm buying. I am buying, bro. Get me on for dance, bro. No, actually, I could be on like every now and then. Well, I would, tonight. No, I would be on tonight, honestly. Yeah. It's not 2021 yet. I'd say. I'd say- Buy in moderation. Okay. Buy a low point. So you're not buying stonks. You're I'm not buying, buying stonks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just dollar cost averaging. <laughs> <laughs> he said the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> right, yeah. And that is buy and sell. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of the episode and end of the year. Boys, how's it been? What a year it's been, 2020. Big year for the pod. It's b- Genuinely big year. We've made leaps and bounds. Um, and I guess just a massive thank you to all the listeners and viewers now on YouTube um, who've stuck with us through the good times and a the- lot of bad times. <laughs> the many, many bad times. <laughs> Underscored and in bold. Um, but no, genuinely massive thanks for sticking by us and for listening us, uh, listening to us throughout the year. Um, we hope to bring you more content in 2021. Um, and a big also massive shout out to the people on the TCB Appreciation Society. Mm. Um, we hope to see more of you there in the next couple of weeks. Years, months, who knows? Years um, is ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> weeks, next few weeks, months. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys in 2021.